theater. So when I got out of work Thursday, I had a few hours before my flight was leaving from JFK, so I thought, hey, I should see a play or go see a movie. I was thinking of maybe seeing Tomorrowland or uh, Ex Machina or something like that. But uh, that also happened to be the opening night for the latest Neil LeBute play. I've seen a bunch of Neil LeBute's plays. Uh, they've kind of become this regular, you know, I think almost every every summer he has a new play. Uh, a couple years ago my wife and I saw Reasons to be Happy. Um, I've also seen The Mercy Seat. I saw Fat Pig in London. I saw The Break of Noon starring David Duchovny. Most of these shows I did not particularly enjoy but they really got a rise out of me. I reacted to them very strongly and I knew exactly what I liked or didn't like about each show. And uh, something that gives me that level of clarity, even if it's negative to a certain degree, I, I enjoy something like that. And what's been nice is most of his shows have been pretty cheap. So I wanted to see if I could do like a last minute rush ticket to this show because the normal tickets were $90 for some reason, which is weird for an 80 minute show with two actors. I was at the Second Stage Theater, so you know, very nice and convenient to the E-Train which is what I needed to get to JFK. So it started at 7 and I thought, okay, this is great. It'll get done at like 8.30. My flight leaves at 10.30, so plenty of time. And I'll just say, spoiler alert, it all worked out great. I, I made it to my gate at JFK like right as the plane was boarding. So to get a rush ticket, even though it was opening night, I only had to get there. So to get a rush ticket, even though it was opening night, I, I had no trouble uh, just kind of walking up to the ticket booth saying, hey, can I get a 30 under 30 ticket? And for, I think it ended up being $32 or something with tax, I was able to see the show much cheaper. And uh, as a second stage, which is, you know, very standard kind of proscenium style theater with not that many rows, I think row O was the last one. So everyone has a great view of the stage. And this was starring uh, Thomas Sadowski and Amanda Seyfried. It was called The Way We Get By, which is an incredibly bland title. But that being said, uh, the play was very well acted. There were a couple great reversals in it. I, I wrote a review already, so I'm kind of like, oh, I don't want to repeat everything I already wrote. So you can read what I said about it. All I'll say is that there's a couple great reversals in it. The play felt too long, even at 80 minutes. Like, it there were so many beats that were being hit over and over, especially with the male character. Amanda Seyfried, this was her Broadway debut. I really like her as an actress, actually. And um, on stage, I thought she held her presence very well, very engaging. She had a couple of fantastic monologues that were very well written by Neil. And it kind of made me realize that, interestingly enough, I tend to enjoy the female characters in Neil's plays much more than the male characters. The male characters, as a rule of thumb, are very wishy-washy and kind of whiny and can never say what they actually want and uh, the female characters tend to be a little bit more put together and clear and interesting and for lack of a better term sexy which makes them much more interesting to to watch on stage the reversals were good without spoiling anything I can say this kind of has a cruel intentions meets uh, Michael Sarah's plot line in super bad kind of mashup thing going on but you know that what, what frustrates me is there weren't any real seeds planted for these reversals earlier in the show I like whenever there's a oh oh I understand now kind of moment in a show that reframes everything you saw before it's nice uh, the first movie I think of that has this in spades is the prestige where when you want to go back and see the movie a second or a third time because there's so many clues for what's going on in that movie earlier on and in a Neil LeBute play like this there aren't really any clues about where it's headed and where that twist is going to be so you get to be surprised but it feels like kind of a cheap shot so I wish there there's so many like little lines I could think of that could be in the show and, and honestly when I when I went to the JFK after I was so inspired by the little things I thought should be different about the show I started writing my own version of this plot line which feels kind of like rip off -y, but even if I don't do anything with it it's still a good exercise I think to be like well here's how I would do it um, you know there's there's something healthy about that even if it's just kind of to blah, rant or whatever um, but yeah anyway so so good show I, I think I give it a, probably three stars um, I enjoyed it you know the again the fact that it was short even though it kind of hit on the same points over and over those points were still entertainingly done while they were done over and over and the acting was good the stage is beautiful I love the set design the lighting design had some really weird things where it seemed like it was day like the way the windows were lit but then it was night outside when they pulled back the curtains and then it never became day even though the play I think is supposed to take you into like noon or something like that anyway Neil LeBute shows good stuff for if you're trying to catch a plane very quickly and just want some light entertainment uh, that <laughs> generally is well acted with some very big name stars and as someone that is very easily starstruck by the many actors that I adore 
always a good time. Oh, also, uh, Neil Butte was there at the show, and I ended up spending about 40 minutes before the show speaking to a woman who was also going to be trying to catch transportation out of the show as soon as it ended, uh, a train in her case back to Delaware, and uh, she's someone that invests in, like, theater and, and all sorts of cool stuff related to the arts all the time, and so I was showing her some of my VR stuff and talking about what I was doing in Burlington the next day at the New Moran, and that was really cool because she was like, oh, is there anything I can do to help? So I was like, oh, yeah, so I, I took her card, and, and the next day I told the new Moran guys about her, and maybe she'll be a, a backer or an investor or something, so that was really sweet. And it's kind of cool, you know, as someone that, that loves the theater and has a, an interesting relationship to it through my work in designing theaters, I really love meeting people that are regular theater goers, uh, which is very different, I think, from people who are regular opera goers, which is the audience members I interact with the most at things like the Opera America conference. So anyway, we had a lovely chat, talked about the different things we like about the theater shows we've seen, we compared the things we'd seen in the West End, and uh, yeah, I like meeting strangers that way. Good stuff.